My name is Kyle Hamilton. I'm a sales engineer with Flycast Partners, and I'm here today to present an overview of the ShareWell dashboards. ShareWell dashboards provide a wealth of information for both management, executives, as well as individual IT staff users. And I have to say, after working with numerous products over my 20 plus year career, that the ShareWell dashboards are probably one of the most valuable and configurable uh, components within the ShareWell service management solution. Um, one thing to note is there are multiple dashboards that you can create, so you can virtually have a library of these dashboards available. Um, a lot of them that we're looking at here and then we'll kind of look through as we go through this presentation are out of the box, but of course you have the ability to come in and modify these dashboards, which we'll take a brief look at, as well as create brand new dashboards to display a mashup of whatever information you feel is critical or important for you or your team or maybe your executive staff to be able to have quick and easy access to. So as you can see, it starts off by default showing me a view of what's referred to as the global IT portal. And again, this is an out-of-the-box view that you can easily use just as is without any effort at all. Or you can go in and start making simple to uh, make configuration changes if there's information you want to get rid of, if you want to change the look and view, or if there's information you want to add to this portal. Very simple to do without any scripting or coding of any kind. Also important to note, if you look up here in the top right-hand corner, it quickly and easily allows you to filter this information based on any time range that you're interested in viewing. So whether you want to look at incidents and requests on the, the global IT dashboard for all time or any time, or whether you want to look in the last year or the last month, you can simply switch that time frame and you see it immediately updates to show me the current statistics and metrics as it relates to just the last year as opposed to looking at everything since inception. In addition to that, you can see that each of the dashboard widgets, as they're called, allow you to drill down in depth into the information. So whether it's one of these cube blocks that you see that shows the current open incidents, I can quickly and easily click on that particular view it actually drills me down in this case to another dashboard that allows me to dig deeper into those 28 incidents. And one thing I'd like to point out, particularly on this screen here, is the, the type and kind of information that you have easy access to. Things like mean time to repair, mean time to resolve, um, calculations that Many other products uh, and vendors will tell you that you can have and, and get within their products, um, but knowing from experience, um, in most cases, you're going to be required to come up with the calculations um, and provide all of the, the details that are going to allow you to get to these kind of metrics, whereas with Surewell, these are simply available out of the box, as I mentioned, as widgets that can simply be dragged and dropped onto these screens where you don't have to spend the time or have to go back to college to become a math major just to be able to make simple calculations to show you like mean time to repair and mean time to resolve. So you can get to those things very quickly and very easily with Sharewell, whereas with a lot of products, it's going to require some effort and some calculations on your part. Now you also notice, uh, as you can see, um, there are many different dashboards available on that left-hand side. Um, most of the time, if you're talking about IT staff users, they're going to spend the majority of their time on what's called the My Work Dashboard, where by default it's filtering out and filtering all of the information that's viewed to the particular user that's logged in so that they can specifically see their incidents, um, their tasks, um, everything that's assigned to them. Over on the, the right-hand side, you can also see they can view information for their team. So any changes, any tasks, any problems that may be currently assigned to the team um, can also be viewed. So that way, if um, you're working on the premise that everything gets assigned to the team or to the group by default, and then your staff then go into those, those queues or those teams and then take ownership or assign those tickets to themselves to be worked, then they have the ability to look into those queues and look into those groups to see what's out there and waiting for somebody to respond to so that they can then take ownership and begin work on those. It's also important to note 
I scroll down here, down to the bottom, that there are some additional dashboards that are also quite valuable. Um, probably some of you know, what I find the most in terms of management and executives um, fall under the header of you know, executive dashboards. And you can see it presents quite a different view um, versus looking at you know, individual incidents or tasks assigned to me or changes assigned to my team. This is more of a high-level summary view. And you can see it's uh, typically very graphical that allows me to see you know, over time how is my first call resolution, for example, changing. You know, I know what it is today, but what did it look like yesterday? What did it look like last month? So that from a management or executive perspective, they get an idea for the trends. Are we headed in a, you know, a downward uh, slope? Are we headed in a better position? Are we worse than we were last month? Um, so that they can get a feel for the overall performance of the service desk, um, as opposed to looking at individual incidents, individual changes, and workload, for example. Also, the ability to see things like performance. Performance um, in terms of mean time to repair, mean time to resolve, um, success rate, first call resolution percentages, those types of things. So again, users in, uh, in the management group, in the executive team, have views that are designed specifically for them so that they can view the information they need without having to drill down or dig through the global dashboard or dig through individual incidents. Now, if I go back to the global IT dashboard, I want to take a quick minute to, to talk a little bit about the flexibility of these dashboards. So I mentioned you have the ability to configure these as needed using what's referred to as widgets. Essentially, kind of each one of these blocks on the screen uh, represents a widget that's been dis being displayed on this particular dashboard. If I go right here to the top, you'll see I can go into an edit mode for this dashboard. It will bring up a window that will allow me to begin to make simple modifications to it so that um, I can use what I've heard referred to as the R&D process, which is uh, uh, rip out and duplicate. Um, you know, often there's going to be something very close, if not exact, to what you're looking for. Um, so by leveraging a lot of out-of-the-box widgets and out-of-the-box queries, you can typically find something that's going to meet your needs exactly, and if not, you can find something that's close. Make a couple of simple modifications to get it exactly where you need. So for example, maybe I wanted to add an additional piece of information onto this global IT dashboard. So I could drill down here into perhaps this executive widgets, and I want to add, let's say, the average age of the incidents in the system. And you'll see I come in here and drag and drop this widget anywhere I want. There's kind of a snap to grid that will allow me to drop that in any position. So I might want to use some empty space. I might want to move an existing widget. I might want to delete something else and replace it ultimately. Um, that way I can, again, put everything I need onto a single dashboard. If I look into the properties for this particular widget, you'll see it also gives me granular control over uh, the visuals, the graphical display that's being utilized. So whether I want maybe a, a horizontal gauge to show me the, the number, whether I want to use simple text just to simply call out that number on the screen, like you'll see in some of these widgets here in the background, um, I have different views that I can use um, to present the information to a user in a meaningful and understandable manner. Um, and there's a host of other properties that you can see down here to control the behavior of the dashboard and the look and feel of the dashboard, how often it refreshes the information, so that for each and every one of these widgets on the screen, you might have them set to refresh you know, each individually based on the type of information presented. You might want to go in and have it set to a global refresh where everything's updated on, on a standard schedule. But again, no coding, no scripting, and everything easily within your control, simply based on uh, either drag and drop capability or simply by clicking checkbox and entering in your values. Also, things like background coloring, you know, the control of the look and feel, not only changing you know, the type of graphic display, but being able to determine how I want that to appear on the dashboard. Again, I can change the color scheme. Maybe I may even want to take this and enlarge this to make sure that it, it has the appropriate priority on the dashboard. Then be able to come in and add a title or some type of descriptive uh, uh, header for each of these widgets so you know exactly what you're looking at. 
So these widgets that you'll see in there's there's hundreds of these widgets that are available out of the box um, can easily be utilized without having to go back and create a bunch of these for yourselves to be able to come in and create these different dashboards that you need and save those in your library to present everything that you need to present um, and make it easy for your staff, your managers, and your executive users to be able to get to the information that's most critical to them. Thanks for listening. And if you need additional information or have any additional questions or would simply like a deeper dive into the dashboard functionality, please feel free to reach out to us by phone at 1-844-FLYCAST. That's 1-844-359-2278. Or you can also email us at info at flycastpartners.com. Thank you very much.